I'm not feeling it. I think I'm getting sick again, which is just driving me crazy. I've been sick for all of September, and I thought October's going to be good, but here I am, glance swollen, feeling run down. Whee! Anyway, writing, what should you do? Um, make sure people can read it. And that sounds weird and sounds goofy, but um, if you don't really understand how scenic structure, um, sentence structure, paragraph structure work, that can really hinder you. Unless you're writing, you know, avant-garde contemporary fiction, then knock yourself out, you know, write, you know, one word per line. Knock yourself out, do the thing. Um, but if you're writing something that is a, you know, a normal type of book, something that is, um, you know, a genre conventions, things like that, you're really going to have to um, dig deep into simplistic writing. And the more complex, again, I've, I've mentioned this before, you make your writing, the harder it is for readers to really get into it. But if you write something where, um, and you know, it, it sounds dumb and basic, but it's true, okay? See Jane run, see Jane jump over the fence, Jane trips on the fence, Jane falls in the puddle. Um, one thing follows the next. And if you make things where it's, you know, see Jane run, Jane falls in the puddle and there was no tripping event, nothing like that. They're going to be like, well, why did she fall in the puddle? Um, and those little things, those little things of your um, writing, not really connecting the dots are going to drive a lot of readers crazy. Not all of them, but enough of them are going to get completely lost as to what's going on because they're going to read every single word and every single sentence. I don't, I'm lucky if I read a third of a page or half the time, um, they won't understand what's going on with your novel. So you need to make everything kind of connect. Now, if you're going to break that connection, say you're changing scenes or moving time forward, you still need to explain that to the reader. Okay, you know, we're moving past a couple hours. The boat ride was uneventful. You know, something like that. So they understand that one thing follows another. Um, movies get a little bit, um, uh, they can get away with stuff, whereas writing you really can't because people are going to want, you know, point A to point B um, and every little thing in between there at least explained to a certain extent. And if you put in a randomness, um, you know, that you think makes sense, the reader will not necessarily uh, follow that at all. That'll be a, a whole issue. So things need to follow one after the another to make sense so your readers can really get into your story, stay in your story, and they're not confused. Um, sometimes that's hard. That's why you need beta readers. Anyway, take care. Love you. Hope you're feeling okay.